Dragons, I'm Mr. Salerno, and this is Flame, and we want to welcome you to the News of Camelot. Today's Thursday, October 15th, 2020, and Flame, we got a special show today, but before we get going, let's take a moment to pause, put our hand on our hearts, and say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now pause for the moment of silence. Thanks, dragons. Flame, it's going to be a gorgeous day outside, a beautiful fall day. The sun is going to rise at 719 this morning, dragons. It's going to set at 630 this evening. And dragons, we have a very special show today because we want to share with you this book. This book is called The Survivor. Do you want to know something fun about this book, dragons? If I zoom in right there where it says... Written by Nia Olivia Fowler. That's a student here at Camelot. Miss Flaherty did an outstanding interview with Nia Olivia because we have a real author that is part of our student body. Check it out, dragons. Good morning, dragons. I am so excited to be sitting here at Camelot with a published author. This is Nia Olivia Fowler, and she is a fourth grader here at Camelot, and she has brought to me a book that was recently published with herself as the author. Nia Olivia, can you introduce the book to us? It's, my book is called The Survivor. And what is your book about? It's about how a bird's, a bird's, survives on his own after something bad happens to his family. And when did you write this book called The Survivor? In, when I was in first grade. And how old were you when you wrote the book? I was seven years old. You were seven years old. Dragons, I am so excited to share with you that each one of our classrooms is going to get a copy of this book and Nia Olivia is going to come around virtually to some of your classes to share it with you. So congratulations, Nia Olivia, on having this published book, and thank you so much for sharing it with us. May I borrow this for a moment? This particular copy is signed by the author, and it has my name in it. And so I am so happy to receive this, and I thank you for bringing this to Camelot and sharing your writing talents with us. You're welcome. Thanks, Ms. Flaherty. Again, here's the copy of the book. All of our classes get a chance to read this and have a copy, which is fantastic. Thank you to Ms. Flaherty and Ms. Moskopoulos for making that possible. And here's a little section about Nia Olivia. I'm just going to read the first sentence really quickly. Nia Olivia Fowler is a brilliant, fun-loving, and talented nine-year-old author. Way to go, Nia Olivia. There's a little part about the illustrator. This is Lisa Davis Palmer, who was born and raised in Jamaica, which is super fun. But Dragons, you'll get to read this very soon. Congratulations to Nia Olivia. Da -da -da -da! It's time for the birthday box. Let's see if we have any birthdays on this very beautiful Thursday. We have one flame, and it is Raquel Ortuna Balderrama. Happy birthday, Raquel, in second grade. That is kind of a fun name, don't you think? Let's check the mail, Flame. What do we have in the mail? We have, okay, let's see here. Dear Flame, I just came back from my road trip. I stayed at a cabin. My friend's mom made it so it was like camping. Did you ever camp or go in a cabin? Love Morgan Lee in third grade. What a fun question that is. Flame, have you ever been in a cabin or have gone camping? A lot of times? Wow. You like nature? You like being outdoors? Oh, that's kind of fun. Oh, very cool, Flame. Let's see what this is. Hey, it's Miss Flaherty. 
Good morning, dragons. It was so fun to get to interview a published author. Nia Olivia represents such creativity and hard work. Attributes from all of you. Keep up the fantastic job and know how much it means to your teachers and to all of us when you do your best. Lots of love, Miss Flaherty. That's a nice little letter. Thanks, Miss Flaherty. And dragons, that can bring us to our question of the day. We'll have two for you. One is, what is something that you've worked really hard on this week? And have you ever been in a cabin or have you ever gone camping? Things that you can share and be proud of or adventures that you might have gone down. We would love to hear about them or Flame would love to hear about them or your classmates or anyone else in your class. So on behalf of Flame, I'm Mr. Salerno. We hope you have a fantastic Thursday today, Dragons, and we can't wait to see you tomorrow. Thanks, everyone.